What's going on guys, BVS here. I am talking to you again from the apartment. Jody's hiding back there somewhere doing her work at her office base. So if you see arms start to pop out, it's not because I hide arms behind my head. It's Jody, it's Jody. So I wanna to talk today about printing, about printing photos. I wanna talk about how to decide on what images you should be printing, why you're printing, all sorts of stuff like that. But first, housekeeping. I wanna talk about why I'm sitting here and why I've been doing a lot of videos from here at the apartment, at the couch, uh, you know, because usually you guys are used to see me out in the field shooting and, and filming and vlogging and you know, taking photos every single day out in the field. But Jody and I are heading on a massive road trip really soon, and I've got a ton of work to catch up on. I have photos to get to clients, I've got photos to upload to my stock agent, I've got about 300 emails to get through, I've got two tours launching at the end of this month that I need to prep for. I've got a ton of work and we really only have like three days before we leave on this trip, so I need to get it done. And believe me, it's taking every ounce of my energy to stop myself from going out and shooting pictures every day. But I think in the past, if I was somewhere else, in some other scenario, I would put aside all my other work to go out and shoot. Because I usually feel a little bit of stress to go out and make the most of the places I'm in, because usually I have a very limited amount of time. But here in Cape Town, we have two and a half months this time. Not only that, but I feel like Cape Town's eventually gonna be a semi-permanent base. I feel like in a couple years time, Cape Town will be a place that we live for two or three months a year or maybe even longer. That's how much I love it down here. And I feel like in two or three years, we might even buy an apartment here. It's just such an awesome place. It's such a great base. There's so much around here in Cape Town. You have the ocean, you have beaches, you have mountains, you have forests, you have wine country, you have whale watching, you have culture, you have history. There's everything in this city. It really is I think my favorite city in the world for those reasons. It's just such a, such a good city. And I know that we'll be back here. And because of that, I don't really have a whole lot of stress about going out and shooting all the time. That being said, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you, you want to see some vlogging, you want to see some photography, believe me, that's going down because on this road trip, there will be like 18 consecutive vlogs that include photography. That won't be me sitting down at a desk. It'll be like the classic stuff out on the road, traveling, vlogging, and shooting photos. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's going to be fun coming up, I promise. So I want to talk about printing because it's now mid-November and I need to get my print sorted for this quarter. If you're new to this channel, uh, last quarter I decided that I was gonna start printing my images. And the way I decided I wanted to print those images is I wanted to do it every single quarter with my favorite image from that quarter. On top of only picking one image a quarter, I'm limiting the amount I print. So I'm only printing, you know, five or 10 or 20, depending on what I decide that quarter. This month I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I can't pick an image, I'm really struggling. And I kinda want your help. And we'll get to that towards the end of this video. I wanna let you guys pick and I'll show you how you can help me pick but I want to talk about printing in general and how to decide what you should print based on some of the things I've learned through this experience because as you guys know I'm very new to printing yes I've been taking pictures for 10 years I've been selling my work for eight years but this is new to me this whole printing thing so I want to talk about some things I've learned and some thoughts I've had I think there's four things you really need to think about before you print the first is, what's gonna look good when you print it? And that might sound obvious, but what you don't realize until you've started printing is that not every image looks good printed. And not every image looks good printed on every type of canvas. For example, you might have this really vibrant, cool image and it looks fantastic on your computer screen, but you throw it on a certain type of paper and it dulls everything and it kills everything. Or you might take something that looks so-so on your computer and throw it on metal and it can look really, really good and edgy. So you really have to think about these things. And how do you figure that out? Well, you kind of have to go through trial and error. One of the things that really good printing studios do is they give you samples. So you can ask them for a sample of one of your images. What they'll do is they'll print your image on a bunch of different pieces of paper, and then they'll send little tiny versions of it to you so you can see what really looks good. The next thing is you have to decide what your purpose of printing is. Is it for personal or is it for sale? And the reason that this is important is because if it's for personal use, you can print out whatever you want. 
If it's personal, you can also print things that you have an emotional attachment to. If you're selling it, you can't. And let me give you an example. In this apartment, in this Airbnb in Cape Town, there's a number of prints printed. And I'm assuming they're from a friend, potentially, of whoever owns this place, or maybe even the person that owns this place. But I think all the prints, though they're really good photos, I don't think that there's any reason to print it if it's not for personal connection. Let me explain. I don't know if you can see this photo, I'll do a little close-up if you can't, but essentially, it's a man who's grilling meat or drying meat by the fire or doing something. It's a good photo, it's sharp, it's clean, technically it's great, but if you don't have a personal connection to this moment, what's the value to you? So if I'm the photographer here, that might be an amazing thing to put on my wall because it might have a lot of value to me. I might really remember that moment. It might've been a really powerful moment where the person in the photo I had a great connection with or just the experience was incredible. But as somebody who wasn't there, who didn't have this moment, it doesn't mean anything. It's a dude drying meat. So you really have to think about your purpose. The third thing you need to think about is if you're selling, What's going to sell? And I think there's three things within that category to think about. And the first thing to think about is you need to remove personal connection and emotional connection. Kind of like what I was talking about with that image back there. You need to look at an image and think, if I wasn't there, I wasn't present when I took that picture, is this image gonna be something that's gonna connect with other people? Or is it something that I just feel really excited about myself? To me, there's really only two things that lead to selling prints. One is art, having something that's really, really artistic, that's obviously art, could be a painting sort of thing. Or two, something that people have, you know, a widespread connection to, or an emotional connection to, or any sort of connection to. In travel photography, this is always the challenge in selling print. People want to put something on the wall that reminds them of something. They want a photo of a place that they went on their anniversary, or a place where they went when they got engaged, or a place that they went, or a place just that they went. People don't really want to hang a print on their wall of a place that they have no connection to because they've never been there. Selling a photo, a print of Lesotho to somebody who's never been to the Lesotho is hard. But selling an image of the Golden Gate Bridge to people is easy because almost everybody's been to the Golden Gate Bridge. So you have to think about those two things. You have to think, is this image art or is there gonna be a connection? And if it doesn't fall into those two cat either one of those two categories or even better both, then it's probably not gonna sell. The next thing you need to think about is the size of the print and the value. And that's probably the hardest thing. It's something that I'm struggling with incredibly. I've been printing 20 by 30 and attaching a 350 euro value to each image. And I've been told time and time again that my valuation is way too low on the prints, that I should be selling 500, 600, especially because they're a limited quantity. But I don't wanna sell for those prices, so for personal reasons, I'm keeping it that low. As for the size of the print, I've also been told maybe it's a little bit too big because 20 by 30 to hang on a wall, it's, it's massive and it does take up a huge amount of real estate on a wall. So think about that. It's easier to sell smaller images, not only because they're cheaper, but because they don't dominate a room the same way. Now, the fourth thing you need to think about in printing images is something I like to call status of content. And I think status of content is something incredible. And what I mean by status of content is how valuable is that content from a status point of view? For example, a Da Vinci painting or a Picasso painting, all these things, the reason that they have so much value isn't because they're great pieces of art. And I don't care what any artist says, it's not for those reasons. The reason a Da Vinci painting or a Picasso painting is worth a million dollars has nothing to do with their quality of art and 99% to do with the fact that hanging that on your wall gives you a massive amount of status. Everybody's favorite photographer to give a hard time, but also one of the most successful at printing, Peter Lick, has created his own status. That's his real success. The way he sells his prints is quite interesting, and I'm not super versed on this, so correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, the way he prints is he'll print you know, 10 or 20 images, and then as those images sell, the value that he sells them for goes up. So he'll sell 10 images, and the first one he sells is worth 300 bucks. 
then the next one's worth 400 bucks, then the next one's 600, and then 800, and then 1,000, to the point that in his gallery, he's only got one image left, and he's selling that for $5,000. And by doing that, he's creating his own status, he's creating his own aura, and then by selling an image, allegedly, for six and a half million dollars, he's also creating that status as, that's the dude that sold an image for six and a half million dollars. As photographers, we have to start thinking of ourselves more as marketers, and when we print, creating that status of content is something that's very important. Okay, so I wanna get into the potential prints that I've been struggling with. I'm gonna run you through the eight that I've narrowed it down to, and if you wanna vote on what image you think I should print this month, go to my Facebook group. My Facebook group is down here. It's Facebook slash group slash Brendan Vanson. And over there you'll find a poll and you can help me decide. The first image. The first image is a cheetah photo from Quiver Tree Forest. Technically, it's a good photo. It's sharp. It's got a good emotion to it. It's also got a connection that a lot of people can feel because even if people haven't seen cheetahs, they have a connection to wildlife. So it has that value. It also has a personal connection, which is a concern to me because I was right there, right in front of this cheetah as it was licking its lips. So I feel like that's always a danger. The other concern I have is that Jody has a photo of this exact same moment that I actually like better and think would print better. The next image is the same cheetah or potentially the brother. And this definitely has more of an artistic feel to it. But I think as soon as you go black and white, you kind of, add to the moodiness of it, and it goes from being a happy thing to kind of a scary thing, and I worry about how that'll look in print, how that'll hang on walls, and how people will feel about hanging something like this on the wall. From a photography standpoint, I love this image, but I'm not truly convinced that it'll hang well on a wall because it'll totally change the atmosphere of a room. The next image, is probably my favorite photo of the past couple of months. Everybody has seen this photo, I think, um, that's watching. This photo I love and I would love to print. It's sharp, it's got the artistic feel. I don't feel like I have any personal connection, emotional connection to this image, but it's very niche. I mean, not a lot of people have been to Deadflay. And my other concern is that it's a, a vertical image and people are much more likely to buy landscape oriented photos than they are portrait oriented. So that's my biggest concern about this image is the orientation of the print. Uh, but I do think that this one would sell quite well and this is probably the one I'm leaning to the most. The elephant photo here that you see is probably the second one that I'm leaning towards, this is probably number two. And if I'm being honest, the ones I'm hemming and hawing between are these two, the elephants, and the, the dead flay tree. I think this elephant tree will hang really well. I think it'll print really well. I think it's got a widespread connection because it's got elephants. And even if you've never seen elephants in the wild, you probably can connect somehow because it's an animal. And I guess I don't really have that many concerns with this image. I would be happy to print this image. I just, I, I don't know. Uh, this image of Cape Town that you're seeing now is a good image. It's sharp. It's got beautiful light. And I think that there's a connection on this photo. So this definitely falls in the category of connection rather than art. A lot of people have traveled to Cape Town. A lot of people love Cape Town. A lot of people would love to hang an image on their wall that associates their connection to Cape Town. I talked about Peter Lick earlier. One of the reasons Peter Lick's been so successful at selling prints isn't because he goes and photographs really off the beaten path locations. He photographs places that a lot of people have been to and a lot of people have a connection with so they're more willing to buy. I think people have a connection with this image so I'm kind of thinking that that could work as well. Uh, th this last image is one I just threw in. This is one of the first images I shot on the EOS R. I love this photo. There's just something about it that I think would print really well. I think it's the contrast of colors. I think it's the gradient of colors. I think that this will look way, way better printed than it will on the computer. And at the very least, I think I would like to print it just to see what it looks like because I would love, yeah, I just think this image would print well. and. That's my only thought with it, I guess. My um, concerns are, I don't know if anybody will have an emotional connection at all to this image. The rhino. This rhino was my favorite photo from Atosha. I love this photo. I love the mood. I love the color. I love the technicality of it. I love it. My big concern is, will people hang it on their wall? 
And my other concern is do I have too much of a connection to this image? Do I have too much of an emotional connection? Because literally, maybe a minute after we took this photo, this rhino charged at our vehicle and it was like this crazy intense moment. We were with these rhinos for a solid 15, 20 minutes and black rhinos are usually really shy and aggressive. So to have three rhinos and clear vision for that amount of time was just something so special that I'm worried about my emotional connection. As you guys know, or maybe you don't, whenever I print images, a certain percentage of the sales goes to a charity. So the same thing's gonna happen with this set of images, and um, I think that's it. I, I'm, I'm conflicted. What do you guys think? What image do you guys think we should print this month? And how many? I think, I'm thinking 10 images of the dead flight photo or the elephant photo. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Head over to the Facebook group and help me decide. As for us, I think we got some vlogs coming up and then definitely the big road trip coming up. So I hope to see you guys there. Peace.